Thank you, everyone. Uh, what if I tell you, after my session, you will going to save six hour per week and a 400% increase in your uh, return of marketing investment. Does it sound interesting? Yes. Cool. So I'm Afsana Rahman. Uh, I'm working with WP developer, uh, helping their, them with uh, marketing and business uh, development. I will be talking about marketing automation strategies that you can use for your business uh, to grow and optimize the conversion rate. So yesterday I was talking with a friend uh, who might be interested about uh, marketing automation uh, strategies and uh, who ca uh, can get benefited from it. So I figured out there could be two different type of people. One who has uh, their business, uh, established business, they are probably already using marketing automation in some ways. Uh, then again, uh, they might want to uh, optimize their uh, marketing automation uh, strategies. And then there could be people uh, like blogger, freelancer, and people who are wearing so many hats together. So for those kind of people, marketing automation is very common term. We are listening and we are reading uh, a lot of uh, articles about it. Uh, but people get confused. Should they use it? Because there are uh, myths like if you are putting automation, you are basically putting bots and robots, and uh, there could be uh, uh, setbacks from those. So I will be uh, talking about uh, different strategies. Uh, From my last three years experience, I have been working with uh, mostly WordPress product companies and uh, used a lot of, you could say like hundred of marketing automation tools. And uh, from all of those tools, I figure out uh, which one works best for uh, the companies. And there are also a lot of tools that uh, doesn't work. But or you can uh, probably don't get enough uh, result from it. So I will break down my experience in four uh, strategies, uh, four campaigns that you can uh, learn from me and probably utilize it for your business. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to make sure uh, these strategies and marketing automation and everything we learn from internet it never goes straight. It's not going to be something like what I will tell you and you will just implement it and you will get result. It never happens, right? So you have to uh, manipulate it and you have to optimize it uh, for your business based on your audience and based on your uh, preference, right? So how many of you have used uh, paid media for your business? <coughs> I see very few. So I'm guessing uh, most of the people are uh, using someone else for managing their uh, paid media. For paid media, uh, there are what we do. We want uh, people to know about our product, our business, right? So we want more traffic. How do we get traffic? Uh, we set up Google AdWords campaign, search campaign. So we target the specific keywords. Uh, and people, when they search for that specific keywords, they uh, land in your website. They uh, get to know about your business, right? So first, we set uh, Google AdWords search campaign. Uh, in those areas, I will show how marketing automation can uh, do it in a very different way. Like uh, setting up uh, AdWord ads or anything, this takes a lot of time. And marketing automation is all about saving time and optimize whatever you are doing. It's not necessary, it has to be 
just conversion for sale. It could be conversion for your block tra traffic or anything. So what about uh, you put a Google AdWord campaign. Uh, you are targeting people in your website. They are landing in your website. Uh, you are showing what you are providing, probably service or tools. Uh, what then? Uh, according to the stat, 89% people actually don't buy your product. They drop by your website and they just got away. So what you can do with marketing automation is you set a rules. You bring your traffic to your website and after five days or probably three days when they didn't buy your website, uh, you get to put them in a uh, retargeting ad campaign. So in retargeting ad campaign, you will show them very different uh, ad because you have first create awareness. Uh, you have shown them what is your product about. Next, after three days, you put them in a retargeting campaign. So they will go to a different website and uh, they will show about they will get about your product. In this case, you are probably uh, telling them the exclusive benefits you can offer them or exclusively uh, benefit they can get from your product, right? So after uh, you, you run that campaign uh, for seven days, and then what you can do is like, after seven days, you put a different campaign in social media where you will be show up video. We all know that video ads uh, effects get more better result than uh, the text ad, right? So if you put a different, different content in different, different ways, uh, you are getting them, uh, you are uh, letting them know in different, different uh, uh, step of your business. It could be like, uh, when you are adding them in uh, first uh, search campaign, they are basically knowing the hour, they are creating hour, then they are, uh, you are making them uh, know a more, more about your product and you are making video. So if they purchase your product, they get out of the list and you can do it all uh, by marketing automation, you don't have to put the campaign differently. You said that at first and it will happen manually. When they convert, they will get out, f out uh, from the list and uh, the rest who are not converting, they will keep seeing your ads throughout the different, different session. So, and then um, I have try different uh, tools for doing this. Uh, most recommended tools are uh, for search and campaign, most people use Google AdWord. Uh, then for retargeting, we have different solution like uh, uh, Adpresso and uh, a lot of things, but I personally prefer perfect audience for retargeting campaign. And then uh, there are Facebook ad uh, where you can put the market, uh, your audience list and retarget them uh, in pre-roll ad and uh, the site ad. Uh, most of the people we, we get uh, very irritated when we see pre-roll ad in Facebook. Have you, have you ever seen pre-roll ad in Facebook? Like uh, we see ads, uh, you see a video and in the middle of video they keep playing different ad. How do we feel? It feels irritating, but the um, stat shows it, it, this kind of ad actually works a lot for most of the small businesses. So these are the things you can consider about ad funnel. You set up in a way that you don't have to uh, put a lot of effort every day. Rather, you will, um, you will, uh, Rather, you will have different kind of uh, automation that will do the work for you. And then comes the automate, 
your social media. Do we have any social media manager here? Uh, I see one hand, two hand. Uh, and do you guys uh, use any social media management tools? Hootsuite. Hootsuite, OK. Uh, so uh, most of the business, uh, even if we don't talk about business, even for your personal website, uh, we write a content. And what do we do? We uh, put it uh, in uh, Facebook, and then we go to Twitter and put uh, post this from Twitter, right? So in the, on those cases, uh, what we can do is like uh, using social media automation tools to manage your uh, social media content and uh, just create a content in social media tools and uh, 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 finish uh, publish it in every different uh, platform. There are my uh, recommended tools for social media management. And there are marketing automation. Um, OK. So and marketing, uh, if we talk about marketing automation, email marketing is mo uh, most effective one and most used one, I think. So uh, what you can do is like, if you're using market, uh, email list and sending your customer to uh, different email, you can put an onboarding series where you will talk about uh, your product and benefit of it. And probably you will ask them to get connected with the community or your other user where you are uh, putting a different content. So if they open, you send them a different content. If they don't open, you send them another different content. So um, that could be a different type of campaign for my, uh, onboarding and uh, more. So uh, this will be my recommended tools for uh, email marketing automation. I'm already out of time, I think. OK, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> and then there comes the marketing uh, reports. Uh, for um, all of the marketer, when we put different type of uh, campaign, uh, at the end of the month, or at the end of the campaign, we need uh, reports to measure if our marketing effort was effective or not. So then come the marketing re report, but it gets uh, too much time to create report. Uh, but using Google Data Studio or Funnel or Dash this, uh, this kind of tools, you can also automate your uh, marketing reports, uh, then you don't have to make it by yourself. It will be uh, prepared all by a using AI and give you the uh, result of what you have done. Is it go through well, or you can optimize it based on your uh, performance. That's all about my session. <laughs> Okay, I think we've got time for one quick question. Two, two quick questions. One quick question. One quick question. Oh, yeah. Anybody? No? Okay. I can't see any hands up. Rightio. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, that was thank really you. Really good. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, like a minute.